my name's Jason Newland. Please only listen whence you can. Safely close your eyes. Right, that's the introduction done. If you would like to support this free service, then you can go to, if you want to, go to paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland. Paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland. Right. I'm going to do a little bit of a tell you a little bit about what's just happened in my life. So, there's going to be a bit of medical stuff here. So, you know, if it's not not like graphic or anything like that, you know, it's not really my thing, but um, I was a bit unwell this evening. So... I'll tell you about what happened, but you know, it's boring, but at the same time, it's probably not hugely amusing either. So, you know, if uh, I'll keep it light, but you know, if, if it's uh, not something you really want to hear about, then I'd switch off now. But as I said, I'm not going to sort of go into uh, graphics and graphics you know I used to do graphic design at school was it graphic design or design technology I think it was graphic design we used to have these boards that kind of at an angle and we'd have to kind of design stuff in almost like 3D and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I really didn't. I didn't like that lesson at all. And the teacher was horrible. A like proper um, strict, but more more in a uh, an un- unhappy person way. Like he was clearly an unhappy person rather than uh, wanting to be strict to teach uh, discipline, uh, you know, to help the children in the future, in their futures, you know, by having some kind of, uh, learn something and how to, how to behave uh, in a way that integrates yourself into society. Um, it was more like I think from his angle like, oh, I don't like my job and um, on reflection I think he might have had piles might have had hemorrhoids because I think some people <laughs> I'm not saying everybody but I think some people are a bit grumpy it's because they're in a bit of pain you know physical and having, um, I was going to say bum boils, but they're not bum boils anymore. Um, more kind of cavity weeds. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call them, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's uncomfortable. So, I mean, I don't know. I can't remember him ever sitting down. That would be a clue. Because uh, if he sat down, he could end up with swampy pants. So that <laughs> I think that's a te- that's a technical that's a technical term, swampy pants, and that 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 doesn't help with piles. <laughs> I have no idea, but 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 um, yeah, it was definitely. Yeah, I think he had 
issues. And I don't think having me in his class helped his life in one bit. I was never going to be, you know, when I was a kid, I wasn't really, um, I wasn't there to help out the teacher. I was just, you know, I wasn't, especially when I was not interested in a subject, which was 99% of what I did at school. Well, is that true? The RE, religious education, I don't know why, but I just got on really well with it. Again, I don't know why. It was, I think it's one of those subjects where you had to go to it back in those days. I don't know if it's the same now. But back then, England was classed as a Christian country. And again, I don't know if this is tr completely true, but as far as I'm aware, when I was at school, we're going back to 1981 when I started high school. They'd have assembly and we'd be singing um, Christian songs. Like hymns, rather. Hymns, is it? In the assembly every morning. And as far as I know, that was done pretty much everywhere. You know, in the country. Apart from, I guess, Catholic schools, I should know this because I did go to a Catholic school when I was very little, but I just don't remember. The hymns would be different. And it's very, they're different. So the one good thing, not the only good thing, what I liked about Christian service, whether it's a uh, like a you know, a Christian church service is I know the songs because I grew up learning them like at school like Onward Christian Soldiers and what's that one Excelsis that one so I remember that and uh, what other ones was there? All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things white and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. He did, 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 I uh, don't know what other ones. Amazing Grace. Um, so at Christmas there was a lot. It was all you know the all the the special Christmas songs would, would pop out. Um, Silent Night. Um, Here it is, Merry Christmas. Everybody's having fun. So that was a, that was a popular Christian song. So yeah, it was. Um, I know things have changed now, so I don't know. I don't actually care either. Um, whether I don't know if the the schools in England have assemblies where they do songs and hymns and stuff. I don't know. So back then, it was compulsory to have religious education classes, as it was compulsory to have PE, which was um, uh, professional education, professional education, PE, um, Premature, ed no, that's that wouldn't be right. Prem premature education, privilege. I don't know. P P E. P E. What could it mean? Personalize. 
ist. And I don't know. But anyway, it was physical education. That's it. Physical education. It's just to go to physical education. And that was compulsory. And so I never, I said I never liked it. The only thing I liked was the dodgeball. Because I was good at that. And, uh, I mean, you know, it's, uh, yeah, I did like that. But I didn't really enjoy any of the other sports that was thrust upon me. Like hockey, football, cricket, tennis. Tennis, I didn't mind so much. But I wasn't particularly adequate at tennis. In fact, the generally it'd just be me and my friend that would play it together. And I was actually better than him at tennis. But he was, he was the only person I could be at a game of tennis. But his, I think his interest in tennis was equivalent to my interest in football you know he just <laughs> didn't care <laughs> it's like oh, someone's hitting a ball in my direction he used to just dodge out of the way and feel good that the ball didn't hit him which was uh, and with football me he he was did the same as I did all we did was just stand at the corner of the pitch and turn around, twirl until we got dizzy and just fall over on the floor. That was it. Now running, I could do. More long distance running. Or slow jogging. Yes, yeah, slow jogging's more my thing rather than I mean I could run fairly fast but I was never I was never motivated to win a race generally you know for me you run fast when someone's chasing you And as there was no one chasing me, I didn't kind of, I didn't have that, that motivation, really, that I used to have when I was living on a, a rough housing estate in Newcastle. And I had motivation to run quickly, and being chased by gangs, and kids and stuff. But at school like, uh. but there was once when I won I actually thought you know what I'm going to do I'm going to give this race a go I know I can move quickly I was a yeah, I was a fast runner I knew I could move fairly quick but I did have short legs so I had a bit of a disadvantage against people that were other kids that were a lot older and a lot taller. I mean, I could literally run through their legs while I was running. You know, I was I was proper short. Anyway, I think this is probably when I was about thirteen, maybe fourteen, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to put a little bit of effort into this race. And uh, I did. And I shot out. And I reached the 100 metre mark before anyone else. I was the first to get there. And I stopped. And I turned around. And I started making rude signs to all the other people. I think I bent over and showed them my bum. You know, just a standard um, way of doing the Olympics, you know, when someone wins. 
and then suddenly all the other runners kept running and I thought that time they slowed down and stopped didn't it and they kept running and then it's really after I realised it was a 200 metre race not a 100 metre in fact it might have even been a 400 metre I don't know but I won the first 100 metres so in my mind at that time I won that race yeah at the same time I came last Yeah. Mm. So I don't really know. It's, it's okay. I'm not that bothered about it. But I still won it. Okay, I didn't win it. But if if I had it done. If it had been a 100 metres, I suppose realistically, the other kids would have been running faster. But I did still run pretty fast. I think I must have been going at least 200 miles an hour. I'm guessing. I mean, give or take 100 or so. Maybe 180 miles an hour. You know, I was, I was doing all right. Doing all right it was going quite well and I was quite pleased with the whole thing until I realised that I was basically running a completely different race to the rest of the races high jump couldn't see the point in a high jump so I didn't bother long jump I like long jump but again because I wasn't tall with long dangly legs I didn't have well just the taller people had a bigger advantage so they could just reach further but I enjoyed the activity of jumping and flying through the air and then landing in the sand it was quite a pleasurable experience really and the only other two things I quite liked in the sporting athletics kind of scene was the discus and the javelin the javelin because basically a spear and I get to throw up at people so I like that and I never actually managed to hit anyone but you know it's the further out someone was more effort I put in so I didn't realise you weren't supposed to be aiming for the people but you know I find it gave me that extra motivation and the, the, I think I might have been banned from that and then it was the, the discus I quite liked the discus wasn't particularly good at it I suppose I was average because the discus is fairly heavy I remember even now the discus are very much like a, a minstrel you know the I don't mean the um, you know the, the bands and the groups that no longer perform due to uh, it's just not acceptable anymore is it the, the minstrels but the minstrels as in the chocolate they've got like a coated shell 
in the almost spaceship sort of shape flat and curvy at the same time well that's what the discus was like but a heck of a lot bigger and heavier I would say the discus would, that I was chucking or throwing would have probably been the weight and size of my head but again I don't know I mean, how do you weigh your head you know what I mean? I mean, how, how? How, how? How can you? I suppose it must be a way. I suppose if you laid down on a table and then had a separate table at the head of the table with a scale and you just rested your head on it, I guess that would give a... somewhat of a calculation I suppose I don't know I'm pretty sure with a discus you could like twirl around a little bit so I used to do that and I did that chucking the discus in the wrong direction <laughs> That's all right. I enjoyed it. What other things? Andre's awake, making noise now. Lovely. He was just there having his dinner just then. A little while ago, I made a deep sleep whisper hypnosis the first one I've done since the 19th of March no March 19th of November and it's now the 2nd of December so I'm going to be making more more I tell you more 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 <sighs> oh So what I'm going to do is tell you about what happened today, or yes, it's yesterday, but it's during the night anyway, and I didn't feel very well, okay, so I was having like heart palpitations or whatever, and so I phoned, I left it an hour, I thought I'd see how I feel in an hour's time, and... I thought, uh, you know, I thought, mm, I'm not sure about this. So I phoned up 111, which is a telephone number for, I think it's NHS Direct. So it's a, like a non emergency phone call where you can get advice for medical problems or potentially medically. Uh, issues you know so I called up 111 and they said yeah what do you want I said there's no way to answer I said listen just get on with it we are I want to eat my sandwich I said okay and I just explained my situation and he's I think it's a woman or a man I forget I think it was a lady uh, she might have been called Doris I'm not sure oh, I'll be so glad to get my new chair this one is just so uncomfortable now I've got a new one coming Today, hopefully, at some point. So we're sitting back in comfortable bliss in my new chair. Oh, no longer. <laughs> no longer 
them to do with this squeaky thing. I'm not sure whether to just chuck it out or leave it in here but on the other side of the room. I might do that because although it's uncomfortable for me I'm more than happy to allow guests to sit in it. I think it's comfortable enough for a guest because there's two good things first of all it's uh, it's a nice kind greeting to offer a visitor a chair to sit in that's the one benefit the second benefit is the chair is so uncomfortable the visitor won't want to stay and then they'll leave so it kind of works quite well both times sort of leave and go that chair was really uncomfortable but he was very generous in offering it so, so that's, that's kind of how I have it in my brain my brain <sighs> anyway So I called this 111 and they asked me these questions, lots of different questions, date of birth, blah, blah, blah. And then, and then, 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 I just told her what I was, yeah, I wasn't. <sighs> I wasn't tired at the time, I am now. I just described the symptoms and they said that they were going to send an ambulance for the paramedics to come and check me out. And I thought, oh, that, that wasn't what I wanted. It was, the way I felt is if, if it was something that might be serious and need medical attention, then I'll just make my way to the hospital. But they said, oh no, we insist, and they called an ambulance, and I waited about two and a half hours, and it arrived. <sighs> and so what I did is, they said to me, have you got, have you got anyone with you? And I said, well, I've got a ferret. Uh, she said what well, so they've got a ferret she said well no I meant a human being I said no no he's a ferret she said no I know he's a ferret I'm talking about have you got uh, a contact locally someone that can sit with you while you wait for the ambulance and I said okay I've got a friend downstairs he might be open to the possibility of uh, being here you know sort of keeping me company while I wait which he did so he came up and we just chatted and watched a bit of telly and <sighs> And that was what quarter to. I don't know what time that was, but eventually they came. About two and a half hours later, the pa uh, ta not the taxi, the uh, ambulance or the paramedics. By this time, I was feeling a lot better than I had. I was no longer coughing. And the chest situation kind of eased somewhat. Still there, but it was at eased. I suppose you think about it in a. If I was lactating, 
wasn't a build up of like pressure of and like lots and lots of milk just dribbles that, that was kind of how my chest was feeling very much like a a half empty bosom <laughs> and bosom what a weird word everybody needs a bosom for a pillow everybody needs a bosom everybody needs a bosom for a pillow everybody needs a bosom they're 30, 45 anyway I I, 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 I What do I, I something I, 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 I Yeah, so they came in there's two, two paramedics, and you know they asked me how I was and everything, and they, they one of them checked my blood pressure, which was absolutely perfect. One checked my did an ECG. I don't know what it is. Uh, the thing where they stick the stuff on you on your chest. Uh, I think a couple of them, they're still there. So I've got one, one on the right side of my chest, um, sort of near the middle, one directly, practically in the middle, but on the left side of the chest. But I kind of, yeah. What other ones have I got? Put one on my stomach, or two on my stomach. One left hand side, possibly one on the other side. I'm not a hundred percent. And that came out fine as well and she did a, a diabetes test that came out fine as well and as they were there and I was there and I found myself becoming calmer and maybe hearing that I'm okay hearing you know seeing that my blood pressure and all that stuff was practically perfect was uh, kind of a nice thing to hear and I showed them Andre And then they left, saying that I had, was very healthy. Well, I was. They couldn't see any issues at all. Nothing connected to my heart. Which is good.
could so easily just fall asleep right now so easily right this second I could drift off drifting oh so nice felt better and I asked him I said oi I said yes I said what 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 is causing this he said we don't know I said what do you mean you don't know he said we don't know I said, well, you should know, shouldn't you? And they said, no. I said, oh, okay then. And then they left. And... started trying to figure out why I've been having those feelings maybe I'll never know but you know I've had my blood pressure checked so many times since I was a kid and it's always been perfect Physically, I've had lots of tests done, and everything seems to be, as far as I'm aware, everything's working okay. You know, parts of me may need a little bit of a cheer on, you know, a bit of a support, but all in all, generally, my body's tip top condition
keep drifting off. Keep drifting, drifting away, far, far away, deep beneath and above the waves of the ocean of tiredness. Blah, 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 blah. Doobie, doobie, peepie, doobie, peep. sound that doesn't make sense at all. We need more p -p -p politics. We need more saucy conversations, not just random weird sounds.
it's nice to just let everything drift away. All thoughts and feelings and ideas drifting away. Previously, getting in the way of sleeping deeply is so much easier now because as you start to think differently, you start to act differently, which then changes even further. The way that you act, affecting the way that you think about things, blah, 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 blah. Think calm and loose and 